this is Roman Found, but we're bringing you the festive edition. <laughs> the Roman Found Festive The Roman Found Festive Special. Festive special. Mm -hmm. So we're doing, well, what, what are we doing, Lucy? What well, are we? We're embracing our inner Nigella. We are, yeah. <laughs> And we're going to be doing Roman Christmas for you guys. So yeah, this I'm is excited. our we we basically got a new book. Tasting the Past Tasting by Pass. Jackie Wood. Who is Time Team's food historian? And she's actually fed Time Team most of these recipes in the book. So we're in her in her Roman section. Did you know that the Romans were one of the first people to do Christmas? No, I don't actually yeah, know. It's right there. Because it comes from their pagan festival Saturnalia, which is like what they had before. And then when Rome converted to Christianity, it all became Christmas, like a lot of the Saturnalia traditions are the same, similar ones that we have today. They just got adapted. Yeah, it's all got adapted. These are all full of 4th century recipes. I feel like you don't realise how much literature's left from Rome. It's quite incredible, really. It is incredible. So this guy actually wrote a Roman cookbook. It was called Apicius, I believe that's how you pronounce his name. And then someone knows something crazy about him. What? So Apicius was like a Roman nobility and he was like a foodie. <laughs> like a Roman food, he loved his food. Because he was high nobility, he'd only have like fine, fine food, fine dining. The so these, finest. These are all the finest of your Roman recipes. You'd find this in a villa. Yeah, you'd find this in a villa. The <laughs> villa that we haven't found yet, this is what they would have eaten it. <laughs> well, because of his fine dining, he bankrupted himself. So do you know what he did? What? Instead of, and I quote... He wrote his first cookbook. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was, instead of eating like a peasant, he had one final feast of all of the finest things that I cooked and poisoned himself and died eating it. Well, hopefully we don't have any of those recipes <laughs> today. <laughs> So, well, we're on Christmas, and Roman we're going to start with all best things, as every feast should start with, with the wine. <laughs> Which is, it's a spiced wine. Apicius. Apicius. It's his spiced wine. Ooh. Yeah, see? The well, man of, himself. The man himself. Most of the recipes in the book are ones that Jackie's taken from his cookbook. Okay. And just made them more helpful Friendly. for Friendly. Because, like, obviously it was all Latin or whatever. Yeah, yeah. so she's... Got translated it. Translated it, yeah. Even then, it's quite basic. I don't know like, how advanced they were with their cooking back then. I mean, you know? surprisingly advanced, I find. Yes, yeah, so in here we've got some saffron, cinnamon, some pepper, a bay leaf, um, and then some chopped dates. We've All... got saffron in there and see how he ended up in financial difficulties. <laughs> yeah, there's one more that's saffron. <laughs> so that, that one needs to go in that little ball. Oh, so I need to put it all in there. Yeah, do you want to put it all in the little ball? Do I have like a little. Like a little spoon. A little spoon. Oh, that's a small spoon. Yeah, perfect. Not all the dates might fit in there, but just try and put like a little We'll see how we in, get on. In as possible. So whilst we're so doing that, shall I get this? Shall I get this going? Yeah. Yeah. So we've decided to use a slow cooker. I mean, this whole recipe uses a liter of wine. Well. So well, I hope you're you're ready to get festive, Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> so it starts off with just a little bit. So that needs to go into the slow cooker. Can and the bay leaf just go in there? Yeah, they? the bay leaf can just go in, it doesn't have to go in. Just make sure you get all the, the yeah, saffron. Yeah, I will make sure that's all in there. Yeah. But I'm just wondering, do I just pop them in? He doesn't go in yet. So first off, we start off with mixing wine. So that's the white, white wine, it says, because strangely enough, the Roman world wine is white. And then honey. So the, the original recipe was for three litres of wine. Ooh. So I feel like it was for like feeding the legion. So in the household. You've, you've <laughs> cut it all by a third. So we started off with 150 ml of white wine, and then this is 160 grams of honey. Also, every single recipe uses honey. I didn't even know the Romans had honey. Like, I guess it's like a naturally. I know, but like, how did they figure out that bees thing. made honey? Like, oh, I guess I reckon people have been eating honey probably for millennia. True, that is true. I mean, I recognise most of these spices we probably use at Christmas. Go on. Okay, I think I've got... Is it all in that little bowl? Good work. Yeah. So just, do you want to just pop that back in the bowl? Yeah, and then ready. That's, that's ready. That's all ready to go in. So that's our... Roman spice bowl. <laughs> Roman spice bowl. <laughs> so good. We just need to wait for that to heat up now. Yeah, Roman Christmas was not too far stretched from the Christmas of today. Like, Saturnalia, despite being a pagan festival, because obviously Christmas is all Christian, isn't it? It's to do with Christ. But, like, they would have a big feast. 
every household. Okay. And then even like the main big temple of one place would do a big feast for everybody. Um, but like it was a bit wild. Roles would be reversed. Oh. Slaves would be served by masters. Oh, so it's sort of like a bit of a free for all for the day. Yeah, it, start, <laughs> it started off as being two days, and by the fourth century, it was two weeks long. Wow! Yeah. So they really went to they really went party. For it. They just <laughs> it was basically partying so hard. Like it was all about like gambling, like drinking, socialising. So you can see how the the Christians reformed it. <laughs> It was a bit too wild. Maybe crank it up. Do you think crank it up to high to start with? Yeah. Do so the honey in the there. The honey, and then there's 150ml of wine in there to start off with. I feel like we're making a. It's like juice, isn't it? Oh, you're yeah, like making a syrup. We're making a concentrate that then needs to be diluted. So Saturn only started because it was pagan, it was about the god Saturn, and the wife's called Saturnalia. <laughs> and um, it was all based around their like agricultural year. And the winter solstice which is why we have christmas when we do now mm. like a lot of historians believe that we have christmas when we do now because of saturnalia because when rome adopted christianity the conversion to get the, the pagans to christian it was easy if they just adapted their own pre-existing holidays yeah. so what do we need to do next so we've got right, so honey... we've got our honey wine concentrate is all in there so up. now we need to well it says Add the rest of the wine and heat gently, simmer for an hour over a very low heat with our okay. spice ball in it. So would you like to do the So do you want me to do the honours? Do you want to do the stirring? Shall we swap? Oh, swap and swap, rolls. Swap and rolls. I'll be the assistant and you can be the chair. Okay. Right. Do you just want to stir? And then I'm just like, wah. Okay. <laughs> Open the wine for it smells nice. It does smell. I mean, I mean the honey smells lovely. The honey just smells lovely. So we're getting the bat in there. We haven't tried and tested any of these recipes, so this is this like... Is the, this is the... This will be the... This will be it. We'll put the test. And then what? The spice ball in? Yeah, pop her in. Pop her in. And, and bay leaf. leaf. In. In. Right. So that now needs to heat for an hour. So I feel we'll, like we'll just, we'll get cracking on the Yeah, lesson. we'll get that to the side because we've got a, another dish. Well, we're doing a Roman feast, so <laughs> the Romans didn't just have wine at their feast. Have you ever had hot I've not wine? had hot white wine, I've had hot red wine. I think everybody. I think it would be nice. So I think with the honey it would be really like warming and just yeah. lovely. Oh, like like um, like um a lemon sip. <laughs> Nicer than a lemon <laughs> sip. <laughs> Right, so we're going to move on to our, well, the main meal of our feast. Okay. Which is, is our ham. We had turkey, the Romans had ham. Yeah. So we're just using a an unsmoked gammon joint, because that's what's about the closest thing we can get to. Most ham comes pre-cooked to the joints. Whereas okay. Whereas we need one we can Do stuff boil with. for a long time, it seems. Like. <laughs> <laughs> boil. Boil. <laughs> Nothing like boiled meat. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. So the ham needs to go into our big pan, covered in water, and then we need to boil that for 30 minutes. Okay. And then we put it in what we're going to call spicy water, boil it again for another hour. Oh, crikey. Yeah, then it needs to be taken off, scored, covered in honey, because oh. the Romans love that, that honey. honey. <laughs> that special <laughs> ingredient. Covered in honey, and then we're going to make a dough, a Roman okay. dough, and it gets wrapped in the dough. It sounds kind of like a beef wellington. It does sound like it. It's like a Roman wellington. <laughs> it's wrapped in the dough and then put in the oven for half an hour. So we get to use our festive bits. Festive bits. So, shall we get it? Let's crack get it, crack it, crack it and I'll put the water in. Yeah. We'll just, uh... Big knife. <laughs> Keep out the way. <laughs> the Romans probably would have had to hunt for their thing. Although I was yeah. reading that. Um, the they farm? Yeah, they were the ones who actually introduced to introduce most agricultural farming to Britain. Mm. So they actually brought the habit of feeding your animals over winter. Okay. Whereas before they would have just let them die and slaughter uh -huh. them. So they brought in the method of fodder crops, which is <laughs> growing crops to feed your animals to keep them alive. We need How to cover it in water. Completely. Completely, yeah. So I'm going to wash my hands. Okay, good idea. And get rid of that. Yeah. Oh, it's going quite full. I think 
that's that's, 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 that's covered enough, I believe. So we'll get that on the hob, shall we? Yeah. The next part of the hem Roman Christmas part three <laughs> is the apricot relish. Oh, lovely. I didn't even know we had apricots back in Roman times, but apparently they've been with us for a while. So we need to stone the apricots and put them in a pan. And then this also involves, no guess, no surprises, boiling for an hour. Boiling for an hour? Or simmering. So we need to stone them and half them. So that's one. Ooh. We'll remove our little stone. This is going to be... Fiddly. You thought it was going to be complicated, didn't you? <laughs> you can, can you tell that Lisa doesn't cook for a, lot, a lot for herself? I'm not bad. Look at that. Ham starting to ham starting to boil. Starting to heat up. I've got so many things on the go. This is our finest Roman dining. This is definitely. I've no idea uh, how much um, villa eating. Oh, definitely. You've got all this energy it shows. <laughs> Villa eating for today, on today's roads. <laughs> I've no idea how much apricot relish this is going to make. I haven't scaled this recipe down. Okay. So well, we'll see. I hope it's good because I reckon, you know, eat it for the rest eat of the week. Eat it for the rest of the week. So we've got 450 grams of whole fresh apricots, that's what we needed. Lovely. Lovely. And then we're going to start, so this is one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of mint. Ooh, so lovely. Put that in the, and here. Get in there. It's just a little mixing bowl. little mixing bowl. Beautiful. Then if you would like to put in, what, what ingredient do you think this is? Is it honey? It's honey. <laughs> <laughs> More honey. And then put the honey in there as well. All of it? All of it. So this is three tablespoons of honey for this recipe. I can already smell the mint, it's lovely. Yeah, the mint smells good, doesn't it? I, th I, like, I suppose they would always have herbs, wouldn't they? Yeah. And then, so that's the honey. And then you need to add, also add the, the vinegar and oil. So you've got two tablespoons of vinegar and two tablespoons of olive oil. So that one needs to go in there. Lovely. And then, this was one of our more difficult ingredients to get. What's this one? So this is a sweet muscatel wine oh. and a bit of white wine in here as well because you need both. So you need 150 ml of each. So sweet muscatel wine is a very sweet dessert wine. Like, can you smell it? Yeah. It's like, it's very like fruity. Fruity. It's very sweet. So this needs to go in here. It's only made in this specific region of France. So I... That's very specific. Very specific. But then that all needs to get a nice mix. And then that needs to go over the apricots. Lovely. It was a very dark. I wasn't expecting it to be so dark. It might be from the the vinegar. Is that the balsamic? Yeah, that's right. It smells good though. Yeah, it does. And then this is going to be our apricot relish. And then the ham's meant to be served cold. Oh. So because they mostly had cold food apart from like these like hot street food vendors. These like bougie vendors who sold things. Okay, so pour that. Yeah, get that all in there, and then that needs to simmer for like an hour. Mm. Right, so we've got our apricot relish all, all ready to go. All ready to go. I'll try and do a bit of a. Does, does, does Nigella do this showing off? How does Nigella do it? I think Nigella's got like a 10 man film crew. <laughs> <laughs> We've just got two, two phones going mad. <laughs> so that's all on and that needs to now simmer for an hour. Oh wow. So that's everything on then. We just need to wait for that ham to boil for 30 minutes so we can do the next stage. Okay. So that's it. So we have to take a little break. We'll take a break. <laughs> the magic of the magic of filming. filming. 
a lot's happened in the, <laughs> the magical break. So the wine is now ready, so we're going to try that. Oh, are we going to try first, that first? Well, first we've got oh. a small bit of, got to get these things boiling oh, again. the next phase. So our relish, our relish is done. That looks amazing. Does, does that look, yeah, it looks quite good, doesn't it? That just needs to cool, so we'll leave that, that at the back, so it's meant to be served cold. Okay. Because everything is cold apart from the wine. And now this is what we need to do. So the oh, ham. A big pot of water. A big pot of water. The ham needs to come out, and we need to, you need to get rid of the water, and then replace the water. Okay. It wants fresh water. So we'll just like... Remove that. Remove the ham. And then what, me? Dispose Dispose of, of the water. Oh, it's a steam. It's a steam. <laughs> so much steam. And then bring the water. Do we need to get rid of the um, no, the gathams in there? Then we need to put the ham back in. Okay. And we need to put it in with. I've got some bay leaves. You'd like to add in? I don't even know the Romans had bay leaves. And then lots of figs. Ooh. Whole figs. So just around it? Yeah, just all around it. And now the whole thing then needs covering the water again. Okay. And then just boil it for like an hour. I don't know what the fix and um, bay leaves are going to add. A bit of sweetness? Bit of sweetness, a bit of flavour. Bit of flavour. So yeah, the whole thing just needs filling water again. Is it going to like infuse into the ham, do you think? I hope so. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. I mean, I didn't realise that the Romans had so many levels of like cooking, like so many steps to their cooking. I mean, this is quite like. I mean, before fancy. yeah, before the Romans came, all the recipes for like from like Celtic times was literally just like meat and veg. That was it. <laughs> it was like boiled meat, veg, sometimes bread, but very basic bread. This is like. This is like flavoured. This is like the Romans are adding spices. They brought spices to to Britain. I think that's that be sufficient. Sufficiently. So we'll get this back on because it needs another hour. Another hour. Yeah, quite indeed. And then get the summer on. And we've got to do more. So our wine has been brewing now for an hour, so she's should be, piping. She's piping. She should be ready for the tasting. Let's so we've get got some lovely Christmas market mugs from Woo! all the way from Germany, German Christmas market. Oh, so cool! So we're uh, all festivities out. Should we use it? It's an interesting colour. It's actually dark. Like yeah, it's sort of a. I guess I'd call it a very honey colour. Yeah, I thought it would be, I don't know, I thought it would be quite a lot paler. It smells really nice. It does smell really good. Have a little sniff test. <laughs> it's quite strong actually. Well, this basically just wine and honey. Oh, yeah. It's warm. Yeah, warming. How warm. hot do we think it's going to be when it burns? I don't know. <laughs> Burn our lips off. Shall we go with the taste test? <laughs> You're brave. Hot as it. Ooh, it's lovely. It's really nice actually. It's we not hot. It's not festive hot. Festive cheers. Festive cheers. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I guess it was like drinking a lot then. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice. It almost tastes like an apple. Yeah, I was going to say, it was, it's a bit like hot cider, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, it tastes, tastes like, like mulled cider. Mulled cider, which is... As opposed to cool, mulled wine. Strange, because what... Did we even put any... No, it, well, it has cinnamon in it, doesn't it? Yeah, maybe, maybe that's, that's, that's sort of is. that sort of spiced apple. Spiced. You kind of associate with cinnamon. It's very good, though. <laughs> You're getting, like, <laughs> in, inhaling, like, fumes of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> like, take a sip. I think the Romans knew what they were doing with this. Yeah, this is very delicious. Like I, I could add this to the the rost the Christmas roster. Definitely, it would today. recommend one hundred percent. Yeah, like if this recipe is like a robot. It's a lighter alternative to mulled wine. I think yeah, definitely. Isn't it? Because mulled wine's quite like 
dry and heavy sometimes, isn't it? Mm. Well, this one's very like sweet and fresh. Yeah, it's like drinking spiced warm liquid honey. So yeah, we'd recommend the Rome. It gets the Rome found seal of approval. That's a big tick. Dig screen rating. Dig screen rating. I think an eight out of ten. What are you thinking? Yeah, eight yeah. out of ten. Eight out of ten. I think. Um, is there any way it could be improved? Um, I don't think I. I can't think of anything I'd want to add. To be honest, maybe a ten out of ten then. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I can't think of because I don't want it add. to be too complicated. In well, maybe, favor. maybe a dig screen ten out of ten. Maybe is it <laughs> gone from an eight to, to a ten? ten? Maybe I think so. It's done well in the little circle, isn't it? Mm. Well, but it will Delight. save some of that to mm. enjoy our. Well, well we sit while we cook. Mm. Sit while we cook. <laughs> So the ham's been boiling for, well, like an hour. An hour simmering. An hour simmering later. I feel like it's going to be dark by the time we finish. <laughs> I know. We started at 11 o'clock in the morning. It's now nearly three. <laughs> so anyway, so the ham is there. She's all ready. She needs to come out because now it's got to go in the oven. <laughs> it's like the next stage. This is quite impressive. It oh, it's though, looking it? really like, so do you know what I mean? Succulent. Like, soft like moist i mean the water smells quite good doesn't it mm. no we're meant to save the figs so try so do you want to scoop, scoop the out. figs out so they've really clumped up these little they things. have they've like rehydrated themselves haven't they? i think we serve the figs alongside the ham getting a facial with this i know there's so much steam oh, there's loads of it i know just trying to scoop them find them yeah yeah. Well, there's that's enough figs for us to serve alongside it, isn't it? And a few more, there we There's go. A few more. There we go. Right. Do you want to just put that on the side? So now we need to make its dough blanket that it gets like wrapped in, which is just oh simply flour, olive oil, and water. Is that two parts olive oil? Though? No, that's honey. Okay. Yeah, that's that's the honey. <laughs> Olive oil, and then water. I'm going to use a spoon to start with. And we'll just. Yeah, we just want to. Tip a little bit in. A little bit in at a time until it makes like a dough. I can imagine you need it quite. What do you call it? Dry? Well, not too well, sloppy. Yeah, not too sloppy, no. I feel like it's going to be a fine line. Yeah? It's a pretty simple dough, to be fair. The Romans knew what they were doing. Yeah, that's the thing. What are you thinking? Yeah. <laughs> we're in dough mode. There's a lot going on. Because I'm not going to... There's a lot to this recipe. Like, I did not realise Roman recipes. We're going to be... Whoa! We're going to be so complex. No. Did you? No. Who knew it would take us, like... What? Like, hours? <laughs> Five hours, four <laughs> hours. Ridiculous amount of time. I mean, the dough's looking good. Dough's looking good. So this dough is going on the ham. Like a Wellington. Like a Wellington. <laughs> Wellington. Very creative. Do we just need to roll it out? I feel like I'm bringing back all of these like baking skills that like I was taught in primary school. <laughs> is there like any way to like particular way to wrap it? No, there was no instructions on how to wrap it. So that's up to us. What do you reckon? It doesn't even say how thin you need it. It just says roll. I think it. not too thin. So I want it to like fall off. That's true. That's a lot of thinness, do you think? Yeah. yeah. We'll call that as what, about a centimetre? Yeah, yeah. A centimetre. Or a bit thinner. I so. But maybe a bit thin on that side. At least it's having problems with what we're holding up. <laughs> Taking issue with it. Taking issues. Um, like that? Yeah, and what, just, then what? Just as it plonks it down, does it? Yeah. Just so the hand's meant to be, to speak about the hand being cold. Do we need to pop it in the freezer? Should we pop it in the fridge for a second? Don't mind Another us. break! <laughs> <laughs> We've taken the more of an executive decision that doesn't need to be cold. We're just going to go for it. But what's okay. the worst that's going to happen? Who? What Romans got this much time on their hands? 
genuinely what Rome's got this much time now. So I know they're having so many barbarians for the film. So. Needs to go here, and then we need to cut the top into diamonds. Okay. So we'll just get some slices going in there. It smells good, the ham. Then we should have done that not on the pastry. No, I think the best thing to do it on the pastry. It's probably. We want the juices to go into the pastry, don't we? Probably what? I want to make a hole in the pastry. Fall through. Whoa. <laughs> it's not falling apart. It's like our form falling apart. Did you know? You know how we have like Elf on the Shelf? Yeah. Well, did you know that um, in Saturnalia they sort of had like a similar thing? <laughs> they did. They did, genuinely. So, what they would have had was they would have elected a member of the household to be what they called the king of Saturnalia, and it was their job to cause as much mischief as possible. Yeah. It's mad, That's isn't it? That's a lot of planning. That's how much it says. You got sweet tooth seeds right then. His room's got a lot of sweet tooth. Right, so that's all the honey drizzled. And, and now what? We wrap? Wrap? Or how that's going to go? I think just to like contain more. the honey. Like a parcel. Like a parcel. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? We happy with that? I'm sure we probably need to put some kind of like. You know when you do a pie, it's like a cross in it, doesn't it? Dunno. Well, otherwise the air won't escape. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, no. This is where it's all going to go down. No, I'm not going to do it. You're going to flip it. I'll flip it. Good idea, are we? <laughs> okay. Holes in the top, that's fine. So that's what we need. Okay, that's not too bad actually. Let's just get it in the oven, I think. <laughs> Correct. Get, get it, it in, in the oven. oven. <laughs> and we'll come back to that in half an hour. <laughs> this is gonna be a joke. <laughs> we decided that after the small car crash, we'd get the uh, pan in the oven that we're gonna have small for Put some spice lime. Wait it out with some spice lime. Wait it out with some spice lime. And we will go to arrange our presentation board. How long have we got on there? Like 20 minutes? 20 maybe? minutes? 15 20 minutes? 20 minutes to see just how well it's gone. I'm feeling nervous. Feeling nervous. I'm nervous. I mean, it's taken us so long. So the moment of truth and we're losing daylight. <laughs> so daylight. We've been cooking for four hours. Is the ham going to be edible? I hope so. Do you know why it's white wine? We can share some history lots of way. Yeah. Do you know why it's white wine and not red wine? Why? Because they have like a big wine culture. Mm. In, yeah, the Romans are very infamous for their wine Winery. consumption. Yeah. But, um, so they had several rules and laws around this wine culture. Mm. So like, men could drink as much wine as they wanted, but for a woman to get drunk, she would be like, thrown out. It was like oh, a big no-no. Like Massive no-no. Women were also only allowed to drink sweet wine, whereas men could drink whatever they wanted. Mm. And, if you were rich, to be seen drinking red wine, you might as well have like, spat on a poor person. Because red wine was the drink of the poor. Ah. That's what the soldiers and like the, the peasants drank. Interesting. Which is why they're... So it's not in our fine villa. Not in our fine villa, villa dining. No, no <laughs> red wine for us, no mulled wine, only spiced wine. So how do you think we're going to arrange our little fix? I think just like piles, piles of slices fix. of ham here. And what that little pile of fix. Piles of fix, yeah. I reckon they would have, they would have brought to fix grow in this country. Uh, they don't, they do can. They? can. But well, the Romans brought a lot of fruit and stuff in. Like they bought the apricots and stuff into that one. A bit of an NQ one. <laughs> like they brought the apricots and stuff in. So like the apricots really, the apricot version we've made really would have only been eaten like, mm. in the villas. Because like peasants wouldn't be allowed to have them because they're so like- Where is our relish? In the fridge. Oh my God, get the apricots, where is the relish? <laughs> Thank you.
So it's had its half an hour in the oven. Um, can't promise what it's going to look like. No. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't seen what it looks like yet. As you can see, it's getting dark. So yeah. we're just going to we're gonna go for it. Okay. Looks like the smoke alarm doesn't go off. It might. I might add to the video. Okay. Interesting. It doesn't Here we look. Go. You know what? As bad as I thought it was going to look. That looks alright to be fair, doesn't it? Look, she's hard. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get it on the on the thing. Get her out. She's loose. Well. She's loose. She's loose. Are you going onto that yeah. board? The Christmas festivities help. <laughs> <laughs> this is the the stressful. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That looks pretty. That looks pretty, pretty decent. decent. Oh, we're on our third glass of ham. Oh, cheers. Glass of ham now. Cheers. Third glass. Done. Third glass and the ham's done. The ham took about four hours to do. I would say if you wanted to do this on Christmas Day, you might have started on it. Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve, because then you serve it cold. It's meant to be served cold, yeah. Are we going to cut into it? Do we let it cool down first? Should it cool down a little bit? Just, should we just go for it? Well, it's going to be like honey dough. Yeah, it looks like a honey dough crustiness. So we'll just put that to one side. And then we'll just go cut into it. Shave the extra crust off. So we, I feel like maybe not putting such a thick topping on it next time. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> next time. It smells really good. I was going to go for a thick slice. Yeah. I mean, it looks soft. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> that looks good. Get slicing. Get slicing. That looks good to me. Oh, yeah. The ham looks. I mean, that looks tasty. That does look tasty. I mean, the pastry is a little bit thick in places. A little bit thick in places. Right? We're not pastry chefs. We, uh, we need to improve our pastry sh our pastry skills. I mean, we had no idea what was going to happen. No. Help. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to try a little bit of pastry. Very sweet. Is it good? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't sound so sure about that. Look at that. Actually, that's not too bad. That, should, we, should we say that? That's, that, the, that's the plaque. Right, there. That, that there is what you're going to see on Instagram because that looks <laughs> <easy>. <laughs> <laughs> Get a little crustiness Get a little on there. Get little crustiness in there. That looks stunning to me. Let's yeah, there we go. Some <laughs> Let's admire this because that's a work of art. You know what? I actually was worried when we put it in the oven, but that's turned out. <laughs> that actually doesn't look. Half bad. Actually, doesn't look half bad. I'd eat that. <laughs> <laughs> We've cut up a what I'd call a sharing platter. A <laughs> little. This is the tasting section. So I think we'll go. This is for... meant to be eaten in cold, but we're we're just running out of daylight hours. We're ad hocking it. That was good. Mm. Would taste yum. Would you have that with the pastry? That's actually really good. It's really tasty. It was sweet. It's not. It's not like I thought it might be tough because we boiled it for so long. The thin bits of pastry is nice. Mm. The thick bits I wouldn't recommend. But all in all, that's actually really yummy. Um, what about with? Oh, I haven't had the relish. Very carefully, with a bit of relish. And pull some pastry off. Mm. It's like zingy. What's the relish like? The relish ha is actually cold. We managed to serve that cold. Mm. That's quite That's like way more zingy than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, like not as sweet. Like it's. It, um, quite, it's like a little bit sharp. It reminds me a little bit like. But not bad. Like an Indian chutney, like mango chutney. Mm. Doesn't it remind you of that? A little bit. 
all in all, big scram rating for the relish. What do you think? That, uh, that's that's high. The relish is the relish. Yeah, I'd probably go more like seven. Seven. I don't really like how tart it is. Oh yeah, I quite like the tartness. Um, are we going seven then? I yeah, I mean yeah, I'm happy with seven. I wouldn't go like. And the ten. um, the ham. The ham. I'm generally very impressed with the ham, like it's really moist, lots of flavour. As a dish, what we've made, all three, have worked beautifully, I think. E, they all complement each other. Mm, so like, a, I think we need like a ham rating and an overall rating. So I feel like ham wise, I'm going to give it like a seven. Yeah, I think seven, seven. it's not perfect, but as a dish, I think it's actually really tasty. Really tasty. It's not perfect, but then it is also the first time we cooked it. Maybe we should have practiced before. Yeah, and we have no camera. idea how it's meant to be wrapped. No, there's obviously that's limited. The Romans have not written the detailed instructions down. But I think as a dish, the bits that have worked dish, well work really well. But how we've put it together, I'd probably say yeah, like seven, seven eight. Seven, but I mean, for taste, the taste is up there. I think it's like oh, definitely up there. Yeah, hundred percent. And then like overall. With the wine, relish. I kind of want to just give it an overall kind of like. I mean, overall, if I was served eight this. Eight or seven, seven? Yeah, if I was served this on Christmas Day, I'd be happy. Yeah. No, I'm like generally, like, I think that's really tasty. I think genuinely, I'm still eating it. Genuinely impressed. This will be gnashing on this while into the evening. There will be none of this left by the <laughs> morning. I think that's a success. Yeah. So that's been, um, well, it's been for us, it's been five hours of when we found cooking extravaganza, which has been a hard a, slog. A hard slog, a tail should be Harder than digging? Different kind of challenges to dig. <laughs> I mean, we challenges. had the smoke alarm. We had the smoke alarm to go, go off. off. Yes, yeah, luckily that happened off camera. Um, but overall, it's been fun. Yeah, I really it's enjoyed fun. it. So, yeah, I hope everyone has a yeah. lovely Christmas. Yeah, happy Christmas from us. And um, well, we hope you enjoyed this kind of. Let us know if you like this because we've got a whole book full of recipes here. We could do more. We could do more. The rest want the Roman army lentil stew. Well, Ellie has been eyeing that one. I've been on that one. Feed the legion. But yeah, so thank you for watching, guys. And uh, make sure you can hit like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw. Let us know what you thought. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.